Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is again Sir Dan, and for today's video, we are going to discuss about measures of central tendency. So, what are the measures of central tendency? So, let's take a look at this. We have the following terms we have the mean, the median, and the mode. For the mean, we have the symbol of x bar. We have the formula equals summation or sigma of x or summation of x all over n. Median is x slur. You may call it sa taas. Equals n plus 1 over 2. Yung makukuha nating value dito is not yet the median. Yung makukuha ang value doon ay tatawagin nating rank value. Then we have the mode, the x cup. Yung may cup sa taas. And ito, wala, man, wala itong formula. So, ang titignan lang dito is the most frequently appearing score. So, para mas maintindihan nyo ito, let's take uh, some example to get the mean, median, and mode of the ungrouped data. So, take note, ungrouped data lang muna ang pag-aaral natin ngayon. So, lagay natin itong mga formula dito. We have the example number one. So for example number 1 class, we have we have to find out the mean, the median and the mode. So these are the data. Meron tayong 5 5 7 5 7 10 7 12 15 10 17 9. So first kunin natin yung mean. So symbol, lagay natin ang symbol dito. So, symbol of mean is this. X bar equals. Uh, let's put the formula. Summation of X over N. Yung mean pala class is the most common used um, measure of central tendency. Ito yung pinakamadalas na ginagamit. So, we also call it as average. Meron tayong tinatawag na sample mean and population mean. Ang sample mean, ito ang symbol. Ang population mean ay ito ang symbol. It is read as mu. Mu ang tawag dito. Ito ay mean din. Ang tawag nga lang ay population mean. This one is sample mean. So ito, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay, for the sample mean. Sample mean equals summation of x all over n. When we say x, these are the scores. Okay, yan yung 5, 5, 7, 5, and so on and so forth. Then yung n is the number of scores. Iba yung total scores, iba din yung bilang ng score. Ang bilang ng score ay ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So meron tayong 12 as the value of n. Ano, ano man yung tinatawag natin summation of x? So, ang gagawin nyo lang class, ipagpa-plus nyo lang lahat ng scores na to sa calculator. So, meron tayong, lagay natin din isa-isa. 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 uh, plus 7 ulit plus 12 plus 15 plus 10 plus 17 plus 9. So, bago natin i sign, i-double check natin yung mga prenes natin para sigurado. So, meron tayong 5, 5, 7, 5, 7, 10, then 7 ulit, 12, 15, 10, 17, and 9. Then, equal sign natin, the answer is 109. So, lagyan natin, summation of x is 109. So, lagyan natin sa formula yan. So, meron tayong mean is equal to summation of x, ito yon 109 sa taas, divided by the n. So, yung n natin is 12, yung bilang ng score. So, meron tayong 12. So, sobrang dali lang yan, i-divide lang natin. So, huwag ka na magpakihirap mag-divide. Alam kong hirap ka dyan. So, 109 divided by 12. That is equal to 9.08. 9.08 This is what we call the mean of our given data. 
So, ganun lang kadali yung mean. So, ito total mo lang, then divide mo sa n. So, let's proceed now with getting the getting the median. So, the median is this. Hindi tayo ulit ng solution sheet natin. So, the median is this. Ang gagawin lang natin is to get the value of the rank. So, ngayon, lagay natin x slur equals n plus 1 over 2. Pag nakakita kayo ng n dito, it is the number of score. Hindi mo, hindi mo sila ipag-aas, kundi bibilangin mo lang kung ilan sila lahat. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, meron tayong 12. So, lagay natin x slur o the median yung n natin ay 12 n is equal to 12 then plus 1 over 2 median is 12 plus 1 is 13 divided by 2 or divide natin yan 13 divided by 2 is equal to 6.5 Take note that this is not yet the final answer for the median. It is just our rank value. So, ang ano nagawin natin after getting 6.5? Pusin tayo ngayon sa isa pang solution. So, ang gagawin natin is to arrange the given data from lowest to highest. So, i-arrange natin to. Ang pinakamababa dyan ay 5. So, since may tatlong 5, sulat natin dito tatlong 5. Then, sunod ay yung 7. I-arrange natin from lowest to highest. 7. And then, we also have, o oh, tatlong 7 to. Then, we also have 10. Then, Dalawang 10 yan. So, lagi tayo isa pang 10. Then, next is... Oops! May nalipasan tayo. May 9 pa pala. So, singit na lang natin dito. 9 dito. Yan. Kasi may 9 pa pala dito. So, 5, 7, 9, 10. Next is 12. Then, 15... Then 17. So 15, then 17. Pasensya nyo na may maingay tayo sa, sa labas. May nagpupokpok. So ngayon, after natin ma-arrange from lowest to highest, proceed tayo ulit sa rank value. This is 6.5. Bibilang tayo ng 6 hanggang makarating tayo ng 6.5. So this, this would be the first. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6, yung 0.5 hindi ka naaabot ng 9. Six, since 6.5 yan, stop ka dito sa 7 at 9. Itong dalawang magkatabi na yan. Kasi, uh, itong 9 ay pang 7 na yan. Yan yung pang 7. Ito yung 7 pang 6 yan. E 6.5 lang yung rank natin. So, ibig sabihin between 7 and 9. Ang gagawin mo, kukunin mo yung 7, kukunin mo rin yung 9. Yan ang gagawin mo, pag add mo sila, 7 plus 9, then, di-divide mo automatically kay 2 para makuha mo yung 6.5. So, gagawin mo ay 7 plus 9 equals divided by 2. So, the answer is 8. 8 would be the value of our median because this is the middle score between 7 and 9. Okay? So, this is the median. Next, let's have now the, the mode. So, ito yung mode natin, class. Um, for the mode, kailangan natin na daan to get the mode of the ungrouped data, you have to look at the most frequently appearing score. So, when we say most frequently appearing, ito yung pinakamaraming beses na nag-appear o pinakamaraming repetition dito sa score natin. So, hanapin nyo lang dito sa mga raw data, sa data natin, yung paulit-ulit na score. So, meron tayong makita dito na 5. Meron tayong 5, 5, ng tatlong 5. Yan yung, siguro naman, nakikita nyo na yung 5 may pinakamaraming beses na nag-appear. Then, meron pa dito, 10. 
yung 10 dalawang best na ulit. So, automatically, 10 is not our mode. Tapos, hindi siya yung most. Pag sabi most, pinakamaraming beses na nag-appear. So, ngayon, meron pa dito yung 7. So, meron tayong 7 na tatlo. 1, 2, 3. SC5, tatlong beses din. 1, 2, 3. So, pantay sila. Tandaan nyo, sa mode, meron tayong classification. Meron tayong tinatawag na unimodal. Bimodal. Trimodal. And polymodal. Polymodal or multimodal. So, ano sabihin ng mga yan? So, pag sinabi unimodal, isa lang yung mode natin. Pag bimodal, dalawang mode. Trimodal, tatlong mode. Then, polymodal, uh, more than three. Kunyari, four na siya, five na siya. So, dito, tingnan natin, yung most frequently appearing score natin ay, lang may sumasabay eh. The most frequently appearing score natin ay yung five at seven. Kasi, Tatlong beses na ulit si 5 Then tatlong beses din na, Tatlong beses din na ulit si 7 So meron tayong tie So meron tayong dalawang mode We have 5 and 7 So under siya ng bimodal So meron tayong mode dito na X mode na, uh, The mode is 5 and 7 So yung dalawang sagot natin For this data Kasi na ulit si 5 Na ulit si 7 Then pantay sila na appearance Tatlong beses si 5 Tatlong beses din si 7. So, tayo sila. Dalawang mode. 5 and 7. Then, they are considered as bimodal kasi dalawa. Pag isa lang yung yung maraming beses na naulit, unimodal. Pag tatlo, trimodal. And more than 3 is polymodal or multimodal. So, for you to understand it more, let's have another example. So, ngayon, proceed tayo sa isa pang example natin. This one. So, in this example, we need to find out again the mean, the median, and the mode. So, to get the mean again, so let's have to, let's have this uh, solution. Then, we need to write the formula. So, the mean is equal to summation of x over n. Yung x is the score. n is the number of score. So ngayon, lagay natin si N. Ilang ba yung score natin? Bilang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So meron tayo N as 11 as the value of N. Then summation of X. That is equal to ipag add natin lahat. Kasi nga summation. So sigma. So lagay natin dito. 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 plus 7 again plus 12 plus 10 plus 15 and plus 17 so check natin bago natin i-equal sign para sigurado 4, may 5, may 7 may 5 ulit 7, 10, 7 then 12, 10, 15 17, then lagay natin uy nabura so pag nabura ulit ka 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 plus 7 plus 12 plus 10 plus 15 plus 17 double check natin 4, 5, 7, 5 7, 10, 7 12 10, 15, 17 then equal sign the answer is 99 if you get the sum already, it is not yet the final answer because it, it is just the summation of x. So, kailangan natin sundin tong formula. Um, mean is equal to summation of x is 99 all over the n which is 11. So, summation of x is 99 divided by 11 divided by 11 that is equal to 9. So, the mean score for the given data is 9. So, next, ganun lang kadali ang mean. Proceed tayo sa median. 
So sa median, kailangan natin kunin again yung rank value. So para makuha yung rank value, we need to use the formula x square or the median equals n plus 1 over 2. So for the n plus 1 over 2, yung n again is the number of score. Hindi mo sila iaan. Ipag, bibilangin mo lang kung ilan sila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So meron tayong 11 plus 1 divided by 2. So pagpasensya nyo na, pagpasensya siya nyo na ulit yung maingay. Um, tuloy tayo, equals 11 plus 1 is equal to 12 divided by 2 as equal to 6. Again, pag median, it is not yet the final answer. So, ito ay position. So, pang anin 6. So, this is just the rank value. So, again, ang sunod mong gagawin pagka nakakuha ko na ng rank, i-arrange natin ulit ito. From lowest to highest or ascending order. We call that data array. Kapag inarrange mo yung yung data mo from as, uh, into ascending order or descending order, we call that we call that data array. Ginagamit natin yan for the median. So arrange natin. Pinakamababa ay four, followed by five. Dalawang beses yung five, tama ba? Then meron tayong sunod na seven. Tatlong beses yung 7. Next is, we have 10. Dalawang beses na ulit yung 10. Then, 15. Then, 17. O, since 6 lang yan, wala tayong 0.5, bibilang mo na yung pang 6. Then, wala ka nang i-divide, gaya ng una. So, 1, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Ito yung pang 6 natin. So, the, the final answer for the median is 7. Kanina, may 6.5 tayo na nakuha. So, nag-divide pa tayo ng katabi niya. Yung una at yung katabi divided by 2, yun yung magiging median. Pero dito, whole number na may naging sagot, 6 yan, wala ng 0.5. So, ito yung magiging sagot. Kasi ito yung pang-ami. So, this is the median for this data. Next, let's have the mode. For the mode of this data, pwede natin gamitin ito. Um, kukunin mo yung most frequently appearing score. Sin dito, yung data na pinakamaraming beses na ulit. Si 4 hindi na ulit. Si 5 na ulit, dalawang beses. Si 7 na ulit, tatlong beses. 1, 2, 3. So, so ito na yung data to beat. Since wala naman ng ibang data dyan na naulit ng tatlong beses or apat na beses, Si 7 na yung magiging mode natin. So, the mode for this data is equal to 7. And 7 is classified as, or the mode is classified as unimodal. Kasi wala naman na siyang ibang katay. Isa lang yung mode natin. Hindi